Good evening and welcome to the State Road 436 Maintenance Resurfacing Public Meeting. My name is Randy Turner and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain the department's plan to repave a segment of State Road 436 to maintain a safe and reliable driving surface. We encourage your feedback and there are many ways you can submit questions and comments. All written comments are part of the public meeting record and will be responded to in writing. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-640-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash P-R-O-J-E-C-T forward slash 450-640-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, mail station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project runs 2.3 miles along State Road 436, or Summeron Boulevard, from US 441, or South Orange Blossom Trail, to the Seminole County line within the city of Apopka. The goal of the project is to repave the roadway to maintain a safe and reliable travel surface. Currently, State Road 436 from Sheeler Avenue to east of Wakaiwa Springs Road, Piedmont Wakaiwa Road, has four 12-foot wide travel lanes in each direction with a 32-foot wide raised median in the middle. There are four-foot wide bicycle lanes on each side of the road. This section will be repaved and restriped to provide a wider bike lane. The new configuration will have three 11 foot wide inside travel lanes and one outside 12 foot wide travel lane with a 32 foot wide raised median. This will allow for seven foot wide buffered bicycle lanes on each side of the road. Existing curb and gutter and sidewalks will be maintained. From east of Wakaiwa Springs Road, Piedmont Wakaiwa Road to the Seminole County line, State Road 436 has three 12 foot wide travel lanes in each direction, separated by a 32 foot wide raised median. There are four foot wide bicycle lanes on both sides of the road. This section will be repaved and restriped to match the existing roadway configuration. 
Existing sidewalks will be maintained throughout the corridor. Some curb ramps and detectable warning surfaces, such as you see in the image on the right, will be upgraded to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA criteria. The project will also update the vehicle detection system at traffic signals along the corridor from in-road loop detection to a video detection system using cameras mounted on the signal poles. The detection is used to help trigger the traffic light phases when vehicles are present. Additionally, the project will upgrade or refresh signs and pavement markings as needed. This project is currently in design and is anticipated to be complete in early 2026 at an estimated cost of $1.3 million. All work will be done within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in summer 2026 at an estimated cost of $8.3 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by August 19th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-640-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Randy Turner directly by email at randall.turner at dot.state.fl.us. That's R-A-N-D-A-L-L dot T-U-R-N-E-R at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. Or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Turner at 386-943-5207 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 450-640-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by August 19, 2024. Have a good evening.